Hey there warriors, here we have the users page on our Orkish full stack admin. So here we are already getting the data from our Neon database with Drizzle ORM and we just need to do a simple pagination, nothing else. So first thing we are going to do, we are going to the Shad CN documentation and there we are going to the components page and we are looking for the pagination component. Here it is. So it's just a simple navigation. Uh, already created for us for the pagination and I'm going to install that one on the Orkish full stack admin. That one is added and now the usage so we are going to use it in the same way like here so I'm going to import it into our page on users page here. I'm putting the pagination like this and then I'm just calling it I'm, I'm going to do it beneath our table probably Let's try it out here to see how it looks. And now when I go to the users page, we can close this one. Here it is. So this one is working for now and that's great. It's, it's not doing anything. It's just displayed. And let's see now how to handle actually our backend for this pagination. So here, here it is, we have our get method. So this API route is getting all the users from us and it's nothing special. It's just a simple select and we are getting all the users and returning them back. And that's the thing you see here in our UI. For backend pagination, we need two things. So the first one is offset and that one is telling us how many rows are we going to skip when we are searching for our data. And the second one is limit. And that one is just limiting. So if we say 10, we're going to get 10 users. And we need this data to be dynamic. So now currently I just hard coded number 10 and we are going to put it inside of our query. Putting it inside the Drizzle ORM is super easy. So I'm just going to put a couple of enters here so you can see everything. So here we are just saying, offset and then we are putting our offset from above and the other thing is limit so i'm just putting limit to our limit from here and that's it so now if i put here limit of two and here we're going to start from zero so we don't skip any rows and here if we refresh we are going to get only two rows so that's great if i put three we are going to get three and that's the basic approach that we are going to use to create this pagination. Now we need to make our offset and limit actually dynamic data. So we are going to use the same thing like here. We need an input to our API route. So I'm going to put this one before the query like this. And I'm going to delete this one. And first one is going to be page. And that one is going to be a number and the second one is going to be total items. So that's basically our offset and limit. Only thing we need to calculate our offset here. So when a user comes here and he's, for example, page number one, we need to do the first, we need to put the input opts like this and to put opts here. So here we have our input dot page and we are doing minus one. Then we are multiplying it with our total items. So here I'm putting input dot total items. And now what are we actually doing? So this is the number of rows that we are skipping in our database. So for example, if somebody comes here and his page is number one, it's zero. So we are starting from zero. If it's number two, then he's skipping the actual number of total items that we want to see on our page. And that's like the perfect offset that we need. And next one is the limit. So here we are just putting the input total items and that's it. So now we can try it out. We can actually send in our query here. So here, if we check it, here it is. So now here we are sending our actual page. So we are going to send one and the total items we are going to send two and now if you refresh here here it is two now if we put three we are going to get three so now our api route is working perfectly and we can actually use it from our ui so how are we going to control it through the ui we are going to use next.js 
use search params, this one, and we are going to inject it from the next navigation here, and we are going to use it inside of our component. So in our case, it's users, and here we can, like this, get whatever parameter we have. In our case, it's page, and the other one is total items. So we are going to call it like that, page, and this one is going to be total items. So now, when we put here, if I console log, these two, so I put page and total items like this, and here on our page, if we put it like this, page, total items, you see that here we are getting the page one and total items 10. So we have it here and we can just inject it inside of our API route. So here I can put page and here I can put total items. Actually, we can do it just like this and like this. Now TRPC is returning us errors because the page and total items, they can be empty. So we need to make sure that we have some default values for those. So I'm going to delete this one. And here for the page, I'm going to say that by default, it's going to be one. And this one by default is going to be 10. So now we have new errors and that's because it should be a number. So we can just put here like this, the plus, and it becomes a number. So we cannot send a string, we are sending always a number. And that one now looks actually good. We are just going to move these above. So we have some, let's say, default page, it's going to be one, and this one can be default total items. That's going to be 10. And we are just going to use those here. So we don't have all the data just scattered around through our component. We can put this in some uh, types folder or something. So now if we look at our page, it's actually working. So here, if I put two inside of my URL, it's returning us only two rows and that's great. So next thing we need to do is to actually turn on these next and previous buttons and we need to know how many pages we have. So we are going to modify our backend once again. Now from our backend, we actually need a total count of all users. So we are going to create total count and that one is going to be db select and inside we are going to get our count. So we are injecting count from drizzle ORM and we are getting that one from our users like this. So this is our total count. And now we need to determine how many pages we have. And that one is easy because we already know the limit. So that's going to be our total count divided by that limit. So we are creating our total pages and we are going to use mat seal like this and we are dividing our total count by our limit and that one should be it let's see what's oh this is not match this is math and let's see what's the problem here uh, i forgot to await this one and then it's an array i think we don't have here first in drizzle we don't have so we can do a little trick like this and this one should be good let's see now it must be type any number or something okay so it's total dot count. And now we have actually our total number of pages. Here we are not going to return our users. We are going to turn them to a constant named items. And in the end, we are going to return an object with our items and with our total pages. So now we are going to get total pages, which we can use here on our page. So this one, users, here it shouldn't work, yes. So here we should put items like this. And let's see if we have it somewhere else. No, we don't have it, okay. And now we can actually determine how many of these here, the pagination items we have. 
So we have our users dot data dot total pages, and there we are going to use it like this. I'm going to create an array, and that one is going to be length of those total pages. Let's see what is it saying here. It's it doesn't know if it exists. We're going to say that default is one, and we are going to map through all of those pages. And we actually don't need anything from there. We just need index. And based on that one, we are going to display actually our pagination item. And for our key, we are going to put an index that we are using here. And here, instead of one, we are going to put index plus one. So let's see now what we actually have here. Awesome. So we have two pages because our total items is two. I think there are only four items inside the database. So this one is actually working. We have two pages and that's perfect. So now here we need to say that we are going actually to our what I think it's admin users and then we are saying page equals two. So I'm going to turn this one into ticks like this and I'm going to use here index plus one. So that's our page that we want to go. And then and here is going to be total items equals to, and we call it, I think, just total items like this. Yes, nice. Let's see if it's, wor if it's working. So I'm going to refresh. And here we are currently on page number one. If I press page number two, we are going on page number two and we are getting it immediately. So these are other users. So here we have our undead and warrior. Here we have shaman and troll, but the loading is taking too much. I think that's the problem with the pagination component. Here in the, where is it? Pagination item, or is it link? I'll just search for the A. Here it is, yeah. Here, this one needs to be a link from Next.js. And I still haven't figured this out, why it's putting these errors. So I'm constantly just doing here TS ignore. If you know this one, tell me in the comments. And now if we actually go and I'll refresh again, if we change or uh, yeah, now it's like more, much more faster because we're using TRPC, we have React query and we are not refreshing really our, our page. We are just changing the data inside of our component. Perfect. So now we have next and previous left. So that one should be also easy. I'm going to close this pagination component and where it is here, it is next. So we are going to use the same trick like here. So we are just going to say that this one is our page plus one and the previous, where is that one here? That one is our page minus one like this. So that one is going to work probably, but we are going to have a problem. Yes. So now if we are page zero, then we are going to have a bunch of errors probably because we made Let's see, what are we getting here? So we have offset must not be negative. So we have to avoid this one, both from the front end side and from the back end side. So let's fix this. So in our TRPC call here in the component, first thing we can do is here. So we are going to say if page is less than one, then we are going to send our default page that we created here. And if not, then we are sending our actual page and we are going to do the same thing for our total items. So instead of this page, we are sending the total items and we are sending default total items like this. So this one should now fix. Yeah, it's fixing uh, now this one if it's zero. So it's sending it automatically as one. So that one is great. Let's check out next. Next is working. Awesome. Okay. And now we are also going to handle what are we displaying based on our page. So here, for example, for our previous item, we are going to say that we are going to display it only if page is bigger than one. So I'm displaying that pagination item. 
and this one here, the pagination next, this one, we are going to display it only if our users dot data dot total pages is not equal to our actual page. So we are checking if that's the maximum number of pages and let's see now how it looks. So now we are on page one, we don't have previous and we are, when we are on the last page, we don't have next. So we have some kind of UI security and that's cool. Just one more thing we are going to add, we are going to put a simple try catch here inside of our TRPC route. So we are going to put this whole thing inside and we are going to catch an error if th there is any and we are just going to throw it here like this. So then if something happens, we are going to know what is actually happening inside of our API endpoint. And that's it. Our pagination is working. I'm going to remove just some of these things that are not needed like this one and this console log. And I'm going to push everything to a GitHub repository. You know it already, Orkish full stack admin. I'm going to put it in the description below. And one thing that is missing here is our total items. We need to be able to change it here inside the UI. And I wanted to ask you if anybody of you guys wanted to create a pull request to the project and I'll be more than happy to review it and check it out and put it on the Orkish full stack admin. So I just imagined some like select box here, a drop down, and you select like five, 10, 20, 100, total items and nothing special. I hope you enjoyed warriors. You can also come and sit by the fire in our tavern on the discord channel. There are a bunch of cool warriors there. So you have the invitation in the description below.